God, vegans, you are the worst. You are literally the worst. Oh, he's probably gonna make a video about this too now. Last time on is on you. The Hassan Piker anti-vegan series. Azan's been half an hour stunned locked on a five minute video. It's not. It's not collective action. You guys are saying getting stunned locked by a meme? Except this is what I do. I do yell at Prager U videos all the time. So it's okay when I yell at a Prager U video, but it's not okay when I yell at a Azan U video. I'm this is a sequel to that video and the response to his reaction. This man really unironically and uncritically is trying to make it seem like veganism is the same as voting. It is important for the populace to understand that voting and veganism are very different. Every time someone makes a conscious choice to adhere to veganism, only one real being is saved from a life of suffering. With voting, millions of beings, human beings, are promised a better life. Keeping them from changing anything for at least four years. Why don't you go vote vegan then, bitch? Cory Booker 2020. I, I do not have a radical vegan agenda because I don't believe government should be telling people what to eat. But I do believe that... I have a problem with vegans making idiotic comparisons where, where they act like they're the same species, like where they act like they're not species. Your advocacy is understandable as long as it's literally not comparing fucking pigs to humans! Vegans do not compare pigs to humans. It is unfair to compare ravenous animals that consume with no regard for the well-being of their kin or other species to sweet and kind piggies. This entire argument started because someone said immigrant workers that work in fucking farms and like dairy farms are working in an unethical field and that they don't care about those fucking undocumented immigrants as we were watching a video about them getting yeeted out of the country. I'm sorry. When you say stuff like, I can't believe you're criticizing vegans. This is what I mean when I said y'all are uh, extremely cringe. You might not recognize these brands. It's because we destroyed them with our consumer side activism. Oh, by the way, the counter to this is not the fucking boycott CD Projekt Red. Good luck. There is no such thing as like consumer side activism. There is no like voting with your fucking dollar. Do you understand? My vote doesn't matter, so I won't vote. Of course, of course, as as a fucking vegan, Bao Bao, of course, Bao Bao advocates for consumer side activism because he's a fucking vegan. I do not start this war. I fight only to protect apes. Arjan, still gaslighting audience Pogo. Arjan, still making up vegan straw man Pogo. Arjan, still acting like vegans hate immigrants Pogo. The fucking Holocaust is happening, and you are over there, okay? Like a like a Volkish German going. Well, what about the Holocaust that's happening to the pigs in the farms? Why? Why? Why aren't we thinking about the Holocaust? Oh, this is very unacceptable. That's what you sound like. Veganism, for some weird reason, ultimately always goes back to like individual cons consumer habits. You do not consume ethically. Okay, vegans, you don't. But you think you're fucking... The uh, soybeans are, are, are being produced in an ethical capacity? No, they're not. Of course not. Don't be fucking stupid. Don't be idiotic. Vegans are the all lives matter folks in this circumstance. Sorry, Black Lives Matter protesters on the street saying we should end police brutality and enforce accountability. Actually, all lives matter, okay? And animal lives are a part of all lives. Guess what, bitch? What about animal lives? Literally, all fucking animal lives matter. There are a number of ways you can identify these vegan All Lives Matter members. Be on the lookout for the following symbols of hate. The thin blue line. In this common vegan flag, the line represents the ocean's surface, the only remaining border between the human law and natural order. This symbol? They call it Omnivore Skull. 
It stands for the extinction of the human species, brought on by our relentless consumption of limited resources and extermination of biodiversity for the past century. And you may have heard of QAnon. It stands for, Animal Onslaught. Q, is an animal rights activist and inside source that alleges several powerful people in our government regularly consume the flesh of other beings, to gain their life essence. He claims they are paid millions by corporate lobbies to give these flesh farms billions of American tax dollars, keeping their flesh, even cheaper than plants. These are dangerous conspiracy theories that have no basis in reality. Why people are not oppressed, animals are, how is it comparable? <sighs> okay. First of all, white people are oppressed. by virtue of being white. Like, what are you doing in this community if you don't think white people are oppressed? Just because they're white. That, my opinion on that hasn't changed. I've, I voted for a racist. Well, I voted for a racist twice. I voted for Hillary Clinton as well. Secondly, of course animals are oppressed. I don't think animals are of the same level of worth as human animals are. I think humans by virtue of being human and nothing else, have uh, hold on to this intrinsic value. I believe that they have this value and therefore are elevated on the food chain for me. The secular denial that human beings are created in God's image has led to humans increasingly being equated with animals. If there is no God, human beings are only material beings and therefore not worth anything beyond the matter of which they are composed. Once you get rid of Judeo-Christian values, there's no reason for elevating human worth over that of an animal. True, and yeah, that's pretty true. That's true, and yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. I mean, that's true. Yeah. In other words, we are created in the image of God and therefore infinitely valuable. When confronted on moral grounds, by a vegan, remember Hassan. Holocaust deniers. All lives matter. Soybeans unethical. Animals worth less than humans. No, I won't explain why. I'm gonna go out and punch a sheep, because you said that. Dog on the table, chat. Good girl, good girl. I'm gonna go out and literally fucking bite a chicken's neck off when it's alive. You understand me? You fucking sicko vegans. She's a little scared. Okay, do you want, you want me to take you down? Huh? Eating a chicken is not terms of service. Biting his neck while it's alive is? Why? Why would it be? I'm unironically turning into a reactionary. I'm breaking my... If you have an animal, if you house an animal, you also understand this dynamic. You also understand that speciesism is a very real thing that vegans fucking believe in. No vegans do that. Vegans don't have pets. Vegans are petless. Many vegans keep millions of pets and small feedlots, cutting their beaks, teeth, entails to minimize pet to pet cannibalism for maximum efficiency store pets like hot wheels cars so that they cannot turn around their entire lives shut the fuck up vegan shut the fuck up Human exceptionalism? Yeah, of course. Of course, vegans exhibit human exceptionalism as well. Vegans say, we should not enslave and torture other animals. But, if vegans think we are equal to animals, why do they refuse to take part in the food chain? Why do they not simply return to monkey? No vegan has ever been able to answer this, because I walk away before they can talk. He was a best-selling cookbook author and celebrity vegan chef. Like many people who believe a small, powerful elite control the world, anti-Semitic fantasies are never far away.
fucking vegans, dude. Fucking vegans! The argument that, that I could stunlock you with is if you're stranded on a fucking island and you have a human and a dog, do you eat the human first or do you eat the dog first? Of course you eat the dog first. We don't have to operate on a fucking hypothetical you just made up in your mind. Okay? You have no fucking idea. Like, you literally don't know. You just made that up. And the reason why you had to make up a story in your mind is because what you are seeing before your eyes is indefensible. That's why you go into hypotheticals, where in your mind, I'm reacting to an event that did not occur, and I'm reacting in the way that is favorable to your position. That did not happen. You have no examples of this happening in the past. So therefore, you're making up a new story in your mind about a situation that never occurred. And then on top of that, my reaction to that situation that you have no fucking clue about. If forced to eat meat or starve, those who choose not to starve aren't very vegan, are they? And I totally understand that, like, it's about minimizing your own uh, by by uh, taking actions as an individual minimizing the cruelty not completely eliminating it but minimizing it as best as possible which is correct and right and good and i agree i think that Okay. It worked. That worked. Well, we wanted that to cook all the way through what? so that all the fat would actually render. It Oops. looks yeah. great. I can taste it from here. Are you kidding yeah. me? It's amazing. We Fuck. should try the ribeye now? Yep. Let's do that. No, I've already, like, minimized my, my, like, meat consumption, which is not even true, actually. I've just limited it to just chicken. Are you an animal? Do you have no self-control? I love dominating nature. Are you kidding me? That's an insane take. I mean, fuck you. You're inhumane for having that take, okay? It's not constructive criticism. You're just literally openly showcasing how big of a piece of shit you are. And not only that, but I don't give a fuck. Like, you don't get to speak after that. Your take is is idiotic. And overall, you don't get to ruin everyone else's day with how fucking horrible of a human being you are. Um, and, and reminding us that the world is a horrible place. Yes, I'm vegan. Yes, I believe in eating one and a half pounds of straight white chicken breast every day. Yes, we exist, sweaty. Oh, I almost choked on my chicken. It's so stupid to just like talk about, to, to just glance over all of those fucking, all the senseless bloodshed. Casame vegan salad dressing is very good. I wish I'd lost what if I told you that every oh my god dude oh my god earthling ed video stop trying to sneak these in here okay I'm literally eating a fucking pound and a half of chicken right now yo vegans let me tell you something okay what? It's, it's not a one-to-one. -one. Like, I, I don't just, like, watch some Wendy's burger videos and then, like... Like, there's no fairness doctrine, okay, of veganism. Like, you don't get to sneak in, like, an Earthling Ed video just because I was just watching a video with, like, dairy in it. Okay? 
That's it. It has been more than three weeks and you have not watched a single Earthling Head video. That one wasn't even about chicken. No more a Mr. Nice text to speech. This is an intervention. We've gathered some of your friends and personal heroes who want to speak frankly with you. Please, hear them out. What's up, Hassan? It's your boy, Moist Critical, back at it again, telling you to take the giant chicken schlong out of your throat and go vegan, you fucking troglodyte. What the fuck is wrong with you, Hassan? You know, the vegans are right. You know, forcing a living creature two months of endless torture is immoral. Then you still eat a plate of chicken every fucking day. Is your brain rushing, or is it dragging? Not quite my temple, moron. It's me, Hassan. Tucker Carlson from Tucker Carlson tonight. Nobody hates these radical Joe Biden vegans more than I do. These are highly neurotic individuals and I'm glad you're putting them in their place. These are the people who would burn one million Jews if it meant they could save one mouse. It's completely ridiculous. Your point about all life's matter is perfect. I thought these liberal cocks cared about the blacks. I guess not. Shocking. We're using that one on the next episode of Tucker Carlson tonight. <laughs> It's me, pals on John Oliver. You have to watch this video, or song, or else I will step down and give my show to Hassan Minaj, destroying your stream forever. It's me, Hassan, Hillary Rodham Clinton. If you don't endorse vegans, I'll endorse you. It's possible that those soybeans you're talking about being so unethical are actually being grown to feed the cattle and chickens on your plate. Bill Nye the Science Guy! In fact, for every crop that we grow to feed ourselves, more crops are grown ten times over to feed those animals. Ah. So any switch away from feeding meat is also a reduction in the unethical crops we have to grow to feed them. Oh. And let's talk about the immigrants. Oh no! The ones you say vegans don't care about. <gasps> They're some of the people most exploited by the meat and dairy industry. They work horrific jobs for slave wages and can't report labor abuses because 67% of them are here illegally in fear of being deported. <coughs> At least in a fucking cornfield, they don't have to breathe constant ammonia and hydrogen sulfide. <laughs> you know 70% of factory farm workers have a respiratory issue. Do you know which immigrant farm workers are the ones constantly catching COVID-19? Go on Hassan, take a wild guess. Did you guess the ones constantly covered in the blood of animals? Congratulations, your prize is guilt. Nice one. <laughs> Healthcare, please. Thank you for your service, bro. Swishing our demand from meat to plants mean less jobs shoveling manure or mopping blood. Yuck. And more jobs picking broccoli. You talk about incremental change a lot. That sounds like a nice step towards something better. It is me, Hassan, Ben Shapiro, and I'm glad you keep beating these vegans with facts and logic. I am a big fan of Hazen Yu. It has been proven by science that most animals do not even have feet. So I fully, 100% agree they are intrinsically worth less than humans. Can you ask AOC to follow me back? Hassan, you'll never really be woke bay until you go vegan. Gee, Hassan, you sure are killing a lot of animals to have a plate of nuggets every day. <laughs> it's me, Daza. Mish McCall. If you don't endorse and support vegans in chat, Without also calling them Nazis, I will continue to live forever. I feed off of the vegan hatred in your chat. The only way to sever my life force is by embracing animal rights positivity. Thank you for keeping me alive, Hassan. Enjoy the 6-3 to three Supreme Court. Hassan going vegan country, would be pretty bro. poggers. Hassan Piker. As a man of character. A man who stands for the people. Won't you please be nicer to your vegans? For just the price of your morning coffee, you can avoid meat products. In the arms of the angels. In the arms of the angels. I'll some pack up from PYT. Maybe part of why you think eating a plate of chicken every day is necessary is for the protein.
you work hard for your gains and you don't want to lose them. But the truth of it is that we can get just as much protein from plants. That's where the cows and chickens get it from in the first place. I have been vegan now for just over one year. And look at me. I could bench press twice your weight, small-headed man. I want you to watch my documentary, The Game Changes. It focuses on all sorts of top athletes, from runners to the strongest weightlifters, all of them eating a plant-based diet and performing better because of it. It's on Netflix and it's pretty great. So stop being a whiny baby. You have no excuses. And if it's tennis that you can't live without, then make vegan tennis and ice cream sammies too. When we face mother in some mount of old, but we're always stronger than we know. Hassan Piker, one of the few remaining progressives on Twitch and the internet as a whole, you must understand how important it is to grow support for veganism for all the people living on Earth, the people in our future, and the gentle creatures we share our world with. You know that no change through voting will come until public opinion has shifted on the issue. In that way, veganism advocacy is not an individual action, it is how the gears of history begin to turn. It has passed my time, and I have done all that I can. A song, it is up to you to lead the forces of change. Thousands of vegan probs in your chat look up to you. We want you to be the best of us. That is why we care. If you speak against capital, then you have to have a grassroots movement. I don't give a fuck about whether something is popular or not. I give a fuck about what's right. And sometimes you have to fucking hammer on the point of view, no matter what happens for years and years. It might take years. It might take months. It might take a fucking decade. But you have to, if you believe something is right, if you believe your cause is just, then you have to fucking fight for it. Subscribe on Patreon today at the $99 tier to join the Mug Club while supplies last. Everybody, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, and I think there's a bell there to ring that for more YouTube content. Dude, this editing is really good. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you spend it on like silly shit like this? Make it, make it over like I don't know a, a, a rant where I fucking pop off. Friends. I can't believe how good the editing is. Oh god, you are so you are the worst. Like you can make like an actual Prager you type video off of like a good ass fucking rant I have where I just pop off. Instead, he's like, no, nah, I'm gonna do it on some vegan rant that he made. Act yeah, good. Okay. They believe that economic freedom should be curbed in the name of income equality. How is that a bad thing? Yeah. He's just saying it in a snarky tone. Just because you're doing the fucking straight face, staring into the camera like a little sociopath baby who just killed a fucking rabbit and got the taste of blood, doesn't change the reality that, like, that's literally a good thing. Yes, economic equality is more important than corporate freedom. I think corporations are way too fucking free, Ben. Hassan, please be nicer to Bao Bao. Absolutely not. Wait, does this mean I'm a furry now? I'm unironically turning into a reactionary. If you speak against capital, I'm gonna go out and literally fucking fight a chicken's neck off. What you are seeing before your eyes is indefensible. Yes, I'm vegan. All the senseless bloodshed. Shut the fuck up, vegan. You're inhumane. Are you an animal? We're a bunch of fucking hogs. It's like when vegans make me feel bad. 
because they're right. I don't regret anything, okay? The fucking Holocaust is happening, and you are over there going, but what about the Holocaust that's happening to the pigs and the farms? This is everything I shit on every day. Earthling Ed videos. Oh, dog on the table. Fucking vegan! Shout out to all my vegans. <laughs>